AutoCAD Mechanical has a built-in layer management system which reduces the need for us to deliberately and manually accomplish layer management for each entity we draw. In general, the automated system works well and meets basic CAD drafting standards right out of the box. Try to adopt the standards as delivered. If this can be done, the upgrade process to new releases of AutoCAD Mechanical will be simpler and easier. If it's necessary to make changes to meet your specific standards, I suggest making as few changes as possible. The key to being successful with this automated layer management system is to understand what the system's expecting and how best to work with it. The AutoCAD Mechanical Layer Manager is the key to exposing and understanding how the automated layer management system works. This is also where you can make some adjustments if needed so that it meets your preferred drafting standard. You'll likely notice that there are some significant visual similarities when compared to the AutoCAD Layer Manager, but it's important to note that's really where the similarities end. There's a lot of drafting automation built in and running behind the scenes that significantly improves your drawing productivity, and many of these capabilities rely on the layer management setup and configuration as their foundation. As you can see by reviewing the associated objects column, the intended purposes of the existing layers are well documented. If you want to create additional contour layers to use for your drawing entities, or apply a more recognizable name to the existing ones, this is where you can accomplish that task. There's a lot of information in this palette, so if you don't see the layer you're looking for, or want to simplify the information, simply use the show hide command to expand or collapse the view to meet your needs. Similar to AutoCAD, you can also make adjustments to the layer color, line types, and line weight, in addition to other typical layer settings. You may find the list of available layers in the Layers drop-down list limited. This is because layers that aren't contour layers won't be listed until they are needed for the drawing. Typically, that need is created by utilizing one of the enhanced drawing creation methods automated in the software. As you can see, the drawing process itself creates and utilizes layers as needed automatically. The only layers you need to manually manage are the contour layers you're using for your design-specific geometry.